I'm, I'm so like, okay. <laughs> Welcome to my basement, everybody. Hey! hey! <laughs> How's it going? No audio mute. Uh, it's very early, okay? It's uh, I'm usually not streaming first thing in the thing, all right? Welcome, Jose. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, welcome to my basement, buddy. Okay. Hi. Ears do still work. That's awesome. We took off our astronaut helmets <laughs> so we could speak with everybody. Uh, good to see everyone. We see uh, Corey Nolan and Blair Farrell and Taz, who says, Morning, E-Peeps. Thanks for getting up, everybody. Uh, uh, good to see you, Goku and Alpha Cat. Nintendo! Hip Hop Dan. Who isn't excited, right, Hip Hop Dan? This is going to be a meaningful presentation. Nintendo does this every year. Well, except for last year, but every E3 prior... They saved, generally they had a, a memorable press conference no matter what. Even if it was somebody air drumming in the air to Wii Music, there was something about the Nintendo presentation, like Wii Waggle controls dropping out. Uh, but there's always something you come away talking about with Nintendo. Yeah. Every year, there's, right? There's going to be something to, to, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's going to be a lot of this. Yes. I don't know why like they didn't that. call it the Nintendo Snap. I'm happy but, with that. I I, I know, been, but I want that to be like. But wait, there's you know there. Yeah. I, I want the snap of the dude, century today, dude. It might be this now. Dude. Super switch, super switch. What, what, what if you cross the snaps? Yeah, stereo <laughs> snaps. It's bigger. It's better. When you're a okay, all right. It's, we're loopy. We're we, yeah. we're just getting started, but uh, we are super excited. Um, uh, what do we have? We have three minutes. Sure, I'll, I'll pop you over to uh, full screen here for a second. Let's see if we can pull this off. Okay. Boop. We did it. Christ. Full screen. Boop. Okay. Somebody keep an eye on that Nintendo timing. So that's better. All right, here we go. This is good. Hold on, let me see. Let me see you. See there. two. Let me see two. How are we looking? How are we looking? Okay, I got a little chat oh. in here. There we go. I can uh, see people talking. Hey, there's too many stupid widgets and buttons. I'm, I'm going to break something. Lots I know of it. buttons. Lots of buttons. Yeah, there we go. There you go. You're real sparkly. You're real sparkly. Good to see you. So you you weren't here for the Capcom stream yesterday. Any thoughts on Capcom? <laughs> I mean, they have uh, they, they they have some, some stuff coming out for games that are out already. Yeah. Did you guys know that Resident Evil Village is available? Uh, yes. Yeah. Very popular. For just a month. Very successful. And they're working on some DLC. Yes. Um, yeah, it is uh, um, crazy times. I see in the chat that people are saying uh, co-streaming is an issue with... Um, oh, thanks, Goku. Thanks again for the entertainment yesterday at Capcom. I was I was not expecting that. I thought we were going to have a good time with Capcom. We did not have a good time. Well, I, guess I don't know if did. you know this, but Street Fighter Five is huge amongst the fighting community. It's, yeah, I know. I mean, what we should do Capcom is make Cup. a twenty-minute section in our uh, E three presentation. Capcom uh, Cup. So I don't know what's going to happen with this stream. Okay, um, I've been reading murmurs that there's going to be some co-stream issues. That yeah, Nintendo's Nintendo. supposedly not allowing co-streaming. But we've they done can't this stop us, Vic. We've they done can't it stop us. How how would they do that? I mean, we've been I, co-streaming Nintendo Directs like crazy. It's just going to be audio only. <laughs> is that what it is? Play. How about it's we reenact every Nintendo game? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well, you just run around Here on the go. other screen, and I'll pretend ah. to control it. <laughs> I love it. We could do that. <laughs> Matthew Nugent Marcoux, who just became a member. Yay! Welcome. I need to have some <laughs> graphics that pop up. I'm not a real streamer. I don't know how to do that stuff. I got you can't hear I have sound effects, but you can't hear them. The sound effects and stuff? Oh, on yeah. your thing. Yeah. I need to do that. I mean, all I have is B-roll. I <laughs> I'm the I'm the only uh streamer out there that has B-roll on the on the go with uh game footage. Get like some sound effects. I need. I do. I need like new the member sound effect. Woohoo! Woo. And uh, Mirioku is a new member as well. Good to see you. Thank you. And uh, uh, KFXG, Jose actually does a good Mario impression. Jose, I was Thank thinking so about this. Well, I was just watching. Um, what the hell was I watching? I was watching Capcom. something. Uh, uh, no, it was some other video. But I thought, why the hell don't they reach out to you? You're like money in the bank to like do six or seven different characters for. Have you ever done a voice reel? Have you done that yet? No. 
Because there's so many games that would benefit from bringing you in, and and you do like. I mean, look how well it did for platoon. Advent Rising. Yeah. The one, the one game I did a voice in. <laughs> no, you should be doing voices, man. You sell it. Um, I, I forget. Oh, it was Teen Titans. I was watching Teen Titans, and and I, I thought of. Uh, I think it's Kari Payton that does Cyborg. Yeah, I, me and Greg Sipes. Yeah. Or like this. Well, me and Beast. Cyborg reminds me of you. You're like our Cyborg. Except Thanks. W- without the robot parts, but you, you, that same kind of energy. I love the Teen Titans animated show. My sister, my uh, my daughter was Vic, watching that. It was great. It's Nintendo Direct time. All right, let's go. Um, okay, so I have to pop you into uh, not full screen. I don't want to spoil anything, but this may be a Super Switch Zelda controller. Could be. Could be. I don't know. Could be. Might be. I could be lying. Yes, Hello, Super everyone. Switch. I'm Shina Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. All right, here we go. Hello, I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi. We're still co-streaming. It's still happening. Mm -hmm. Let me know how the audio mix is, you guys. Can you put our faces on their faces so then it's not like copyrighted? No, I can't. That's beyond my capabilities. Just move the square. Just move the square. All ages and all levels of gaming experience. I'm sure everybody would like to watch me manipulate my computer for this whole stream here. Do I need to We've boost the audio on Nintendo? You guys let me know. Games on the system. Not just from Nintendo, but also from our many development and publishing partners. See, I would love for this I to hope be 2023 each of you titles. This Nintendo Direct will be no. able to find a game that We need the back half of 2021. Yeah. Today, we have news we on it. upcoming Nintendo Switch games. We're a bit loud. And okay. we'll be focusing on that a selection of games releasing That's just this year. We hope you enjoy it. Oh, snap. Okay, to begin, please take a look at this video. Okay. Okay. This is not actual gameplay footage. No. Here's Breath of the Wild 2. No. This is, uh... Oh. This is... Definitely not that. Isn't it? No, it's Smash. Oh, okay. It's gonna be Smash. Tekken. That's cool. It's on the Smash! (laughs) Here's your Tekken versus Street Fighter. That's cheeky. That's pretty cool, man. Runs the gamut of uh, Japan based yeah. game properties. I love it. So we got Street Fighter, Neo Geo, and Tekken characters in there. Yeah. Kazi is just murdering them all, apparently. <laughs> Throwing them into lava. Yeah. Good luck with that, Captain <laughs> Falco. Just pull on Thanosing everyone. Where's there Thanos? The, there's the arms character. Where's Thanos in Smash? Let's get a Marvel versus Capcom versus Nintendo versus Namco. Right on. This is a pretty great trailer, actually. <laughs> oh, good callback, Blair Farrell. It's time for the Tekken in Smash Move of the Week! Ha ha ha! back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Already better than the Capcom. Yes, it is. <laughs> Smash Peter Bros. Out. Cross Tekken. He just it's crushed like, oh. Kirby. Look at that. Ruthless. Kirby's coming back. <laughs> there Look he is. Kirby. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you can't kill the Kirby, man. Hello, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited and the director of the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate I don't, Game. I, I, like, people Kazuya always Mishima talk about this guy leaving, but what, series, what an Tekken amazing gig for battle. him Surprise, to be Sakurai? able to play with I'll all of these the characters. At a like, later what date, other game so allows you to tight. do that? For today, though, there is we no prepared game. a short there is no other video game. to showcase yeah. Kazuya's moves in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. You got it, man. You all of these different characters. Please take a look. Which is something, I mean, I love the fact, obviously, they could show a 15, 20 minute trailer about why Smash Brothers is, is huge amongst the fighting community. But yes. they're not doing that. Um, no. But I wish they did something like that for Mario Kart. 
like Diddy Kong Racing integration or right, Ridge yeah. Racer, yes. in, you know, like bring Me too. something, you know what totally. I mean? Like take yeah. the Smash Brothers mentality and bring it into and Mario Kart. Yeah, put Sakurai Sun on it. Yeah. A Tekken like, versus Smash with Tekken Crash gameplay Team Racing? Rock, yeah, game sure. Yeah. Yes, it would. Mario Kart slash Crash Team Racing. Um, basement gaming. I don't know. I'm probably getting flagged like crazy, but it, I mean, they might they might stop it. I don't know what's going on. I, I we've done Nintendo Directs forever, so I don't know. Yeah, what are you gonna do for Nintendo, huh? You're gonna stop your presentation, <laughs> huh? Well, they might they might. This they, feels like they can cut the stream. No, it's yeah. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yeah, Mercedes Benz. I'll talk about Mario the fire more in a it? future presentation. Yeah. Like Not, Forza Mario, Mario Kart, Kart actually. <laughs> Put Mario Kart in Forza. The air date is shown below. Please Mercedes Benz in Mario Kart was weird. You know, whether the cars were good or not, that was just weird. Thank you, Mr. Sakurai. A new fighter, Kazuya, will join the fight in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Please look forward to seeing how Kazuya, who has experienced many harsh battles across the Tekken series, will fight in this game. All right. Let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Here we go. Snaps. Your choices matter. Waiting for the Super Snap. We get the double snap, you know we're getting tales. an announcement. Super Snap. <laughs> we get the Super Crossover Snap. Life is strange. Nintendo was saying they would prosecute those who showed video and audio. Giant Bomb canceled their surprising move on Nintendo's part. Really? It doesn't make any sense. I don't think this is going to be licensed. Probably in the Life is Strange soundtrack. Yeah. Okay, we're muting that for a second. We'll be back. Sing for us, Foobs. Yeah. <laughs> Just the feds break into my door. <laughs> Take off the stream! Take off the stream! Turn it off! <laughs> it's very good, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> Don't worry. Good to see you, Arg Scott. You missed um, Kazuya? Is that right? Kazuya. 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 In, uh, Super, in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Or is it just Smash Brothers Ultimate? Super Smash uh, Brothers Ultimate. Super Smash. Okay. Smash. You just say Smash. Smash. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Back. Tekken. Let's hear from Nintendo. Again. You are Star Lord, leading a legendary band of heroes for hire in this yeah. thrilling action adventure game. Jump on a wild ride on across the, the cosmos. How are they going to overwhelm opponents with okay. Star Lord's daring combat style? We've and seen a resolution hit. They're certainly not showing us characters. next generation we'll Switch footage for the unpredictable right now. Guardians as you face Protect cosmic Guardians. threats to save the galaxy. Available on you got gen. this, good. probably. I'd probably look really good on a Super Switch. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. blasts onto Nintendo Switch October 26th. It's good to see Worms new third party stuff. Everywhere. Yep. In this real I'll time arena based on, um, shooter, you'll squish your invertebrate opponents in 32 player cross platform combat, play in daily challenges, battle piece. modes, and seasonal events to warm your way up the ranks. Plus, check the all these games. Bear outfit exclusive Pardon me? to the Nintendo Switch keeping track of all these games? Oh, yeah, let me do that. For two worms. Weeks after launch. A new map, Spaceport worms. Showdown, launches with Worms Rumble, How? wriggling onto Nintendo Switch June worms 23rd. Rumble. Get a 25% discount when you pre-order the game starting Guardians. today on Nintendo eShop. Lost. The fantastical uh, no, uh, realm of Orcanon awaits. As what was the, uh, fully the hand adventure painted game world. there? You'll customize uh, a team of demigods and unleash devastating attacks in captivating turn-based combat. What's this one? Astrid Ascending launches on Nintendo Switch <laughs> September 30th. What is this one? I missed it. I missed it. It's all uh, happening so fast. Return to the Two funny, charming, and quirky world of Two Point County. In the wholesome management sim Two Point Campus, You'll build and run your very own We've university some of these the already way you this week. want it. Lots of creative tools yeah. are at your disposal to make the school yours and take your educational empire to the next level. Enrollment for Two Point Campus starts on Nintendo Switch next year. A beloved series rolls into oh, its 20th anniversary uh, this year. Balls. 
Wait, we're gonna celebrate the 20th anniversary of Monkey Balls, but not the 40th anniversary, 35th anniversary of Zelda. They are. They're saving it, man. What we about got Skyward Metroid? Sword coming? <laughs> and Metroid. Yeah. Yes. I'll take so you, Kid th Icarus. Th this should be a collection. This should be all of them. Right? Okay, that's good. Monkey Balls. These are good games. They are frustrating. But they're good. <laughs> I remember playing Super Monkey Ball on the iPhone, and, and I, uh, on the plane down to E3, that was one of the first mobile games that was released on the App Store back then. And uh, I just said uh, to myself, it was like, handheld gaming is going to have to be really, really challenged now. Things are very, very different. Because it was a perfect fit on the iPhone. Yeah. Go bananas when Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania rolls Banana on Nintendo Mania. Switch October 5th. Banana Mania. So, so that has all of them. Hopefully. It's a blast from They're parties past, and you're invited. Ready for another round of Mario Party Mayhem? Of course you are. It's a superstar collection of Mario Party boards and minigames. Mario Party Superstars. Live it up on five classic boards coming. from the Nintendo 64 era, including Peach's Birthday yeah. Cake and Spaceland. Each board so is packed with eras. zany events guaranteed to keep you on your Super toes. And when we say zany, we mean it. A lot it. of collaboration. Good to go on this guy. Connect blocks. Ah. And give facelifts? In hilarious over-the-top oh, yeah. minigames. Mario time. All of which support <laughs> button controls. <laughs> That's perfect. With 100 minigames from the Mario Party series catalog, so out you'll have a blast gets in this uh, all-star fun fest. They know who to call. Here's a little party I'm fail. All game busters. modes work with online play. Here we go! <laughs> Even if you're partying solo, you can randomly match with other partygoers worldwide. I like where your head's at, Corey Nolan, Diddy Kong Racing Remastered. Save your progress Let's see Diddy in Kong game. in Mario Grab Kart, just like Foobs was talking about. Then resume the festivities. Yeah, Diddy Kong. Stickers are uh, also Robert Tolan to communicate wants with some others. Baldo. It's time to party in Mario Party Superstars, launching on the Nintendo Switch system October 29th. It's time to party. Pre-orders begin uh, today on Nintendo Wii Shop. <laughs> I don't think that guy was partying What did you think? That. Before we show this next trailer, I'd like to say one thing. Currently, we're working hard on the latest game in the Metroid Prime series, okay. Metroid Prime 4, which we previously it's announced. Happening. But today, we'd like to introduce another new entry in the Metroid franchise. Oh, 2D Metroid, here we go! Woo! Yes! It's happening! Yes! It's happening right now! It's happening right now! Mercury Steam, back at it. Hell yes! Metroid 5! Wow! Give me Metroid! Whoa! So they're taking the Fusion and Zero Mission as... 2D side-scrolling Metroid! Come on, baby! 3 and 4? Is that what they're saying? This is so cool. Right on. Yes! This is what we want. This is what I said we needed! It's weird to call it Metroid 5. Hey, yeah, it, man. Call it Metroid something. Yeah, I, this is great though. Chat is lightning, lighting up right now. That's awesome. Yes. Yes. Stop letting everybody copy your thing. Make your thing. I dig it. Look at this robot is pursuing Samus. I love it. Can we all just be friends? Metroid. Dread. Metroid Dread. Ooh, I like it. I don't think we're getting that this year, though, are we? Yes, oh my we god. Are. What if it's we, out right we, now, Vic? Where's oh my god. Switch? Please, stealth Where's drop my on the Switch. Come on. Where's my Switch? Oh, they're going to have like a Metroid Switch. I bet you they are. 35th anniversary. Come on. Holy Give crap. Give me what I want. Out now, Metroid Dread. Nope. Nope. I'll take this. I'll take all of this. It looks great. This is literally what I said. I hope they have like uh, a it's collection of the classic year, 2D Metroid games too. Coming out this year. Coming out this year. It is definitely coming out this year. This looks very finished. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, baby. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. October 2021, okay. That's this year, Vic. It is. October okay. 8th. All right. 
Oh man. That yes. Trailer if they don't have the a Judge Dredd skin. 2D Metroid game I in roughly 19 years. I the brand new Metroid Dread game. If Stallone shows up, as yeah, no. Implies, <laughs> Stallone this is a Metroid it. game with a new feel, showcasing a variety of threats that Samus will encounter. It's scheduled to be released on October 8th, so it won't be too long until launch. Right on. Nice. On that same day, oh my also God! Be releasing amiibo figures for Samus. Yeah. And the end that's coming out in the a couple robot months. Scene in the video. Metroid, remember? Early that looks awesome. Of the remember Switch early at the headlines. beginning of the stream when we didn't have a Metroid game? Yes. Now we got one that's hitting in three These months. These familiar franchises are back on Nintendo Switch. Okay. Let's see what, let's see Best thing so far. Get ready to oh. get down in the latest Just Dance game. All right. We know. We know. Okay. We know how this works. Oh, sorry, Foobs, you're not in there. Wow. Thanks, Vic. Sorry, buddy. There you go. Okay. Dead silence. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> That's okay, really all I need. Cruising. Really... Kate's magic. New cruising? I was just talking about that the other day. Switch. New cruising. It Blast looks very way, switchy, but I was just saying tracks. somebody. Remember cruising was a thing? Up to four players can race together. This so looks cool. Vehicle and hit looks the insane. We can ride on a unicorn. I wonder if Eugene Jarvis had anything to do with this. The console exclusive on Nintendo Switch this cruising. fall. Cruising! Yay! Okay. It's the ultimate Dragon Ball Z experience. Uh, what was that? Cruising Blast? We're still high on the uh, Metroid. Relive the story Blast. of Goku and other Z and fighters just through four sagas okay. in this Dragon Ball RPG. What is this one? Dragon Ball Dragon Kakarai. Ball. Protect New Power Earth Earth set. from an invasion by Vegeta and Nappa. Frieza, take a stand against the evil Emperor. We'll Rock Grills is in the credits. That's awesome, Blurfell. Battle Blur the Pearl. androids in a fight to the death. Majin Buu, uh, an epic showdown with the most fearsome foe. Crap on Bandai Namco's presentation. <laughs> Along with the main story, <laughs> I know there's going to be. You can explore the vast world of Dragon Ball, Ball Z. Of hey, why not help out the locals or collect ingredients for delicious oh, meals? Man. You could always train to acquire new skills too. Yes, there are lots Steve. of things remember, to remember keep Metroid you busy. Dread? Really good. Remember we didn't know about the Metroid Dread? Episodes, yeah. New power awakens we live in a world where we know there is a new 2D Metroid game Dragon coming out. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot plus a new Kakarot. power awakens well, set. This has been out already. Its way onto Nintendo Switch yeah. September this is 24th. Just a new power awakens set. Okay. Grab a golf club okay, and get we know ready Mario to golf tee is off. Coming. Can't wait for this. The Mario Golf Super Rush game launches soon. Here's a quick glimpse into each of the modes. Oh, they don't need to spend Standard time golf. on this. We know it's coming. Take your time to read the wind and terrain Metroid on the Metroid is going to be out so it can every order. Can I download it now? I'll download it right now. <laughs> Where's my Switch? Well, I guess you can play um, aim for under par. the original Metroid. And you can play Super Metroid on the Switch nice. Online. On the Switch. Right saying, but imagine Speed if they did like a Super Metroid remaster with those Android. graphics from Dread. Be the first to get yeah. your ball in the hole. I know. I'll take or that. What, or what they did with, with Samus Returns on the 3DS. Shots. Why don't they just do that? Why don't they put too. Samus Returns on the what Switch? Put, what if they just put all those games Battle in golf. a collection? Yes. Do get out over nine with Nintendo Nintendo in an visuals like visual like that. arena. Polygonal visuals. But then, you know, that would have taken a lot of resources away from Dread too. But they still, they should do it. Go from no, that game looks finished. With your me character. Go ahead and do it now. The yeah. Golfing challenges that await <laughs> may surprise you. I'll buy that collector's edition. And here's some news: free updates Mario are planned Golf. for yes, future you release, look amazing. I'm including additional get courses yeah. and playable characters. Uh, golfing golfing in the city. The fairway's almost open, so set golfing your tee time and get city. ready to ace those shots. It's where I do in all my Mario golfing. Golf Super Rush, swinging onto the Nintendo Switch system oh, June man. 25th. Pre-orders are away. available now on Nintendo eShop. What did it say? October what? Seven? Eight? Ready for the ride of a lifetime? Monster Hunter Stories 2. Yes, we know. Welcome to the vast and vibrant world of Monster Hunter. 114 days, Vic. 114 days. As a rider days. in this RPG adventure, <laughs> I'm not you'll to explore start it. diverse <laughs> landscapes by riding your monster, a monster companion. Gather materials such as honey and ore. And I can't remember the first Monster Hunter Stories game. Could you ride your monster? Or is that new? But beware of the mini and monsters was roaming about. Because I know that in Rise you could ride your, pi but your Palamute. But others suddenly ambush you. 
but I thought that was a new thing. You'll team up with your monster, but I don't know if there's been and so many monster to overwhelm enemy enemy monsters in turn-based oh, yeah. battles. Have you been able to ride Win, characters and in, you'll be rewarded uh, with their materials, in the your guess would be as which can be forged into new really weapons think. and armor. Somebody tell me. Somebody in the chat tell me. Hey, is that an egg? You might be able to hatch a new monster. New, new Spooey Incredibly Channel. Incredibly powerful monsters. New Spooey Channel says Metroid eggs. Dread. What's that? 17 years Need more in traveling making? buddies? You forget Please Samus join up with Returns. Friends for co op multiplayer quests and battles. Which was not just a Buckle up, enhanced Ryder. Metroid. It's going to be a real uh, monster <laughs> too. It was only it was only like 19 years ago. Monster Hunter Stories <laughs> that 2. Was, Wings it was of an Ruin amazing game. That was one Nintendo of the Switch best July 9th. Switch games ever. You can play the free Switch, demo on June 25th 3, and carry over your save ever. data to the full game. Based on that right there. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Challenge. a new game for the head James of Rolf yesterday was legendary. Company. It was warranted. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Mike Williams is here. Hey, Vic and Jose. Did late to the party, me? but excited hey, for all the Nintendo you business. Oh, I'm, I'm missing this. Drug? What is this? It's a me. Wario. Wario WarioWare? It's a finally ready. A brand new game from my mind. I love WarioWare stuff. Check it out. Have a rotten day. You get to control me. I will not have a rotten day. Yeah. You shut the Metroid in the middle of your presentation. What do they have for the end? Look at me go. You're giving me Metroid at the beginning? What's the end? Check out these chunks. They came back. And I think there's going to be more Metroid, you guys. Throw that I don't even need any more. They gave me, they gave me not something. The Just I know. Something. Use the spinning. You have not, I, I think there's going to be more. Nailed it. Same micro game, different abilities. Like, while I'm uh, about the remastered what? Skyward Sword, why not do an original Zelda Two collection? Two people can play together yeah. at the same time. I can already time. play the first few games on the Switch. So play nice, or else. <laughs> Hey, These guys not are nuts. Nice. I love them. All right, you. Guess Please. you, the one watching this. Better Please, get ready for some micro game mayhem. Ouch. <laughs> the WarioWare uh, Get It Together game launches uh, exclusively on the Nintendo Switch system September 10th. Brush of the teeth. Get it together. Begin today on Nintendo eShop. What you just saw was the trailer for WarioWare. Get it together. <laughs> In the latest installment of this series, there are new microgames that let you control Wario and his friends. There is also a two-player co-op mode, which greatly expands the gameplay. It's releasing in the All near right. future, so stay tuned. Can we tuned. get a new Eternal Darkness? You know, like, what other Next, things can we read? Please take a look at this. Primal Rage, I don't know. Have a rotten day. Primal Rage. <laughs> Dinosaurs. <laughs> As a high school student living in Tokyo, okay. your life is. Look at that. Is that Japan? Long. I miss it. Japan, this, I miss uh, you. Yeah, the, what is this? Is, um... This is a video. Oh. reality is upended after you get pulled into Pretty. a Persona. different dimension. Persona? That was. Looks good. Oh, Shin Megami Tensei. Another Tensei. Tokyo yeah. exists. A post-apocalyptic yeah, world yeah. where angels and They're demons reside. They're all kind of reside. tied together, though, somehow, I think. Right, Persona and Shin Megami Tensei? It's another franchise I Suddenly, need to dive back into. I, don't, I think I played the PSP version of Persona. And then yep, I just, like, Golden, that was amazing. Fight demons. What lies ahead in this alternate realm? <laughs> Transformed into a sprawling demon infested wasteland. Shin Megami Tensei 5. Though friendly demons Z, do right? exist here, many are hostile and will attempt to destroy you. Harness your newfound powers to fight demons using a command based system. Finding their weak point is key. By targeting it, the number of consecutive actions you can perform in a combo will increase. Persona is the offshoot of the Those SMC. demons are yeah, formidable. Yeah, I, I don't know how all the lore threads, but I, I did <laughs> know that they were connected. You may be able to recruit them via negotiations, which begin when you open a conversation with them. Do I need to be familiar with the other four Shin Megami Tensei? No, I think you can if pick up any one of the games. They're kind of like Final Fantasy type will of experiences. A I think there's similarities ally. with characters. 
So one thing I love about the, ta- the Tales cases, series by yeah. is that it's just always Tales request. of something. It's not like yeah. Tales 7, motivated this. And join you right. as so I don't have to be like, do I need to be aware? No, it's just Demons it's that do join yeah. will fight alongside you and grow stronger. Those games are always By approved, though, demon allies. If you have another demon any, can be created. Y- you know, like you get the in jokes because they always yeah. wink the at you and say demons that this demon's innate abilities will vary. There's a celebration a of the past, ally, which is cool. Customized to your needs and play style. I think we can count on uh, Giant Crab's new Squee channel. 100%. Challenge the many demons roaming this post-apocalyptic world by harnessing the power of your own. We need more pre-apocalyptic what world you games. Shin Megami right? Tensei Five will launch exclusively yeah. on Nintendo Switch November 12th. Three switches in our in our house is enough. Don't make me buy another one. And physical version <laughs> giant June grabs. 21st. I'll take one. <laughs> I'll take a Metroid Dread Edition Super well, Switch. That was the latest trailer for yeah. Shin Megami Tensei Five from Atlas. This is the newest game in the series. Please look forward to future updates. Okay, so. No Let's date see on a that few yet. More Nintendo Switch headlines. It's June. June? Yeah. It is oh, June. Celebrate yeah. 10 it's years of Duncan Rumpa. Oh, wow. It's out, it's out already? Okay. Oh, and I. Not a 10 years of Duncan Rumpa. Testing, testing. I have a Duncan Rumpa tie. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Yeah, Lick a Run. You missed Metroid Dread, a new 2D Metroid game. That's, Metroid the, Dread. that's the hotness of this. Three games Comes out in the 114 days. Not that I'm counting. So Coming to Nintendo Switch. We are a mere 114 days away from Metroid Fine, I enjoy 100%. Super Wii would have probably meant at least 10 more million units sold. The only way out of the school and this lethal Just that branding alone. to betray the other students. And so it begins. 100%. Wii U was probably one of the when dumbest the brands their demise, in gaming A class history. trial will take place to reveal the culprit. You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? Telling you, I had no idea. They probably moved the body there. Use the evidence you've gathered to refute contradictions oh, and what's find this one? the guilty party. This is, I, I thought we were on Song 5 Nights. Dungan Rampa. No, Dungan Rampa. Oh, wasn't uh, Five Nights? Are you okay? Yeah, it's been Dungan Rampa. Okay. Plus, the board game from Rampa V3 Killing Harmony has been expanded into a standalone game. This is not my jam. Donkanrampa <laughs> S. You're not a Rampa guy? Summer no. Game. An all-star cast of characters from the Rampa well, series <laughs> will come together to battle at a tropical resort. Shut your stream resort. down! Take it back! Who's the strongest Take of them back all what you said. ultimate <laughs> beach brawl? The four-game collection Donkanrampa Decadence launches as a physical exclusive on Nintendo Switch later this year. There's four games All in four there. games will also be individually I available don't think I've played on Nintendo any of them. eShop. <laughs> We're going to hook you guys up. We hope you're not afraid of ghosts. Japan oh, currently in a post-apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic life already, our James says. <laughs> Fatal frame? In this horror adventure game, you'll uncover the mysteries surrounding like the ethereal, what it said. But deadly not Hikami, in black believed art? to be at the center of many disappearances. Ghosts frequent this mountain. Your only defense is a camera Fatal that can repel frame. Okay. the mount. Okay. Face your fears as you explore a variety of unsettling locations. This spine-chilling story features various protagonists, letting you experience the game from different perspectives. New costumes and photo modes are included in this version. Can you investigate Mount Hikami? So it's a remake? And stay alive. Fatal Frame. Maiden of Black no. Water creeps onto Nintendo Switch this year. Maiden of Black Water doesn't sound like a, fa- a Fatal Frame game I played. These games and Available DLC are coming soon. Some even today. Oh, there we go. Too Your spooky for Mike Polish. Over. Raise hell in the first campaign expansion. Some games coming out Doom today, Eternal, it said. Yep. Ancient Gods Part 1. Doom Eternal's uh, DLC. Deeper and more challenging combat awaits as you eliminate hell's newest threats in demon infested ruins and rain swept terrain. The fate of the cosmos is in your hands. <laughs> He's getting all raunchy. Get slaying when this campaign expansion <laughs> launches on Nintendo Switch the later fate today. fate of the cosmos is in your hands. <laughs> Get ramped up Sweet. for two iconic skateboarding games fully remastered Tony Hawk HD. on the Switch. 
skate to era-defining nice jams hits. as the legendary Tony Hawk and a roster of new and returning pros. Take your sessions on the Tony go with Hawk all the original game my, modes. I got a new plug for my 360. Or online to show off your tricks against other skaters. Look at the 360 back. 360 back. Guys, one Techno and two, Kid Adventure stream is happening June soon. <laughs> Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Look pretty good. After uh, 4, Vic, you're, years, you're near F bomb rant from Capcom Showcase. <laughs> cracking up today. I wanted a code Veronica and RE4 remake. The strange Here's the cornholes. <laughs> in this thrilling adventure, oh, you. you'll blast through an army of mummified uh, I almost tweeted Tommy just one word yesterday. <laughs> Go it alone Cornhole. or team up with other daring adventurers in local wireless co op and online play. I almost Expect did it, but the I, unexpected. I, I, when Strange I, Brigade I launches back. a Nintendo what the hell is this? later today. I missed it. What's this one called? Uh, it's a it's new adventure of cosmic I proportions. My, that, I mean, that looked like a shooter. Mario and his friends will team up Thanks with the rabbits once again to restore order to the galaxy. <laughs> Our heroes must this stop was the a biggest mysterious new evil from plunging the universe into chaos. And, and Nintendo... <laughs> Leaked it! Rabbit Rosalina joins them. Wait, is she Strange bored already? Brigade. Explore planets filled with quirky residents and even quirkier secrets. Strange Brigade, and it's available today. What? And in this I, fresh I, I don't take even know what that was about, genre, Strange Brigade. Our heroes can run yeah. freely around the battlefield, creating new strategic and chaotic wow, possibilities. Sparks of hope looks awesome. So aim for victory with a little help from your friends. Wait, who's that? <laughs> well, one thing's certain. This is gonna be one heck of a galactic adventure. Mario plus Rabbit Sparks uh, of Hope Mario launches Galaxy into space is, or onto Nintendo Switch next has, year. Uh, background for the game looks great. Can't wait. It gives me a spark of hope. It does. Mario, Mario, are you ahead? Are we getting? He's, he's watching ahead, but a new Advance Wars is coming. Are you freaking kidding me? Like this Wars. is great! The original Advance Wars. It, well, it looks like Battalion Wars from uh, the Wii, which was supposed to be a pseudo Advance Wars upgrade. This looks awesome. Oh my god. This and Metal Slug Tactics and Mario Plus Rabbids, and then we didn't hear about the Marvel XCOM game from Paraxis. That hasn't dropped at all. I guess 2K didn't really have a, a thing. Stories. Memorable characters and Advanced vibrant gameplay are in store it. as this you lead the commanding officers to victory. Not one, but two. Uh, what were your aud auditions for EPN like, and were you offered the jobs in the Play same the day? The first two Hope Advanced Wars campaigns in Advanced Wars One Plus Two. Yeah, me too. We might get no more Heroes Three stuff in here. Um, well, I did an audition for for, uh, <laughs> for EP. He built this How city. <laughs> <laughs> All um, right. But this I didn't really expect to be on camera as much of the for day. EP as I ended up becoming Please, on. Take a look. And now I'm on camera way too much for EP. But uh, uh, over the years, I, uh, I I started to get in, in front of the camera a lot more. But Jose's story is amazing. Jose was part of our uh, community when we were on G4, and uh, and he just was an incredible force on the uh, uh, on the forums and. Uh, I, we got to be friendly on the forums, and I asked Jose where he lived, and he lived in uh, the Bay Area, and we had Game Developers Conference coming up, and I asked if he'd like to come and, and uh, be a production assistant and help us out, and, and he said yes. And you guys know how awesome he is. He was, he's been that awesome ever since the I've known him. The world hasn't been the same since. That's right, and it took about a year, I think, of you uh, helping us behind the scenes before we put you in front of the camera. Yeah, because you guys didn't think about wrestling. And we had a wrestling event. You want event. to host a thing at wrestling? Yeah. This event in LA called WrestleMania. What did you say? Shut your lips. <laughs> yeah, we... Uh, uh, so what the hell was that? That was more Hyrule Warriors coming. That's cool. Okay, we got some Zelda now. Hello okay. there. I'm AJ Onuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. What you've Waves just seen of DLC is a trailer coming in three for days. the first wave of okay. DLC for the Hyrule Warriors oh, okay. Age of Calamity expansion pass from Koei Tecmo Games. This was a great game, actually. I really enjoyed it. It will follow this. Link and his allies um, through more but battles Fubes that took place in the a wrestling event because the events uh, of the Legend of Zelda. He knows about Breath wrestling, and I just felt way better about him going up and asking all these wrestlers about it. I have it. a few more things to share with awesome. you all today. 
Okay, here we go. We'll Zelda begin stuff. with the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD game, which okay. launches next month. Oh, and thank you, Shadow Mist. Me, uh, me and my twin You'll were laughing hard last night because of you're by using right. two Joy-Con controllers for intuitive sessions. motion controls, thanks, Shadow Mist. or by playing in handheld mode, wielding the sword via flicking the stick and button-only controls. Skyward Sword, probably my least favorite Zelda. So. I this love game Skyward Sword. the oldest I, era I in the Legend of Zelda it. series. I, it took a while the to kind of get into it, but it I began. absolutely blew through it and loved it. Got totally what is the origin of the Master Sword? Why did a woman named Zelda become the legend for future generations? These will all be unraveled in this, this will game. This really good on the Switch. We hope you're looking forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Coming soon. Next up. What? Oh. What? Here's That's a little cute. something you might like. This is a Game & Watch system that lets this you play three said. games in the, the Legend of Zelda, Zelda series. This year, the original Legend of Zelda game, game reaches its 35th anniversary. I hope so. While we don't have any campaigns or other Nintendo that Switch That shirt is pretty plan, rad, isn't it, Game Sheriff? We've been working on this Game & Watch system as a special item to help mark the occasion and reflect fondly on the earliest days of They better of have this for Metroid. Now you should get more than one. The first game in the series, The Legend of Zelda. Zelda 1, Zelda 2. Zelda, Zelda 2. Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Get the Game Boy Zelda. Oh! And the Game Boy version of The Legend of Zelda. So oh my god, game. this is great. As well as a special okay. version of the Game & Watch title Vermin, starring Link as the playable character. So that's four games on one game system. Oh, yeah, from totally longer Legend this. of I Zelda games. I bet you it's available today. To pick up and play game Vermin. Now, it's a physical thing. In addition, regarding the I bet you this is available today, and I bet you this system, is the GameStop we've thing. We've added a playable clock based on The Legend of Zelda. And an interactive timer themed and after that's, Zelda and they 2, said, uh, the Adventure of Link. They, they're double staffing at, at GameStop. You can play with the both of them by taking control of Link. That could be this. <laughs> no. Oh, we no. hope you'll enjoy Wrong. playing this game and Wrong. System whenever <laughs> and wherever you'd like. That's... That's some, that's some good classic, Zelda. That some looks new, great. All right. Some here's new, the new. last thing we have to show you. Okay. This the is the sequel new. to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. New, Two new years Zelda. have Let's passed stop. since we first announced this there game, and we've been unable to and share not anything at the end. with you in that time. However, development has been I mean, steadily progressing. If, for what today, do you end with if this isn't the end? You give it a more of the game. Breath of the Wild 2? Actually, we're pretty close to the end. They said 40 minutes, right? Yeah. Roughly 40 minutes. You know what they might end with? A tease of the, the Super Switch. Super Switch. Yep. The power of this Zelda game. Uh, I have the Mario good. game in Watch, and I, I haven't used it, but it's super cool. But I'm definitely getting that Zelda one. I just did a stream where I played, like, all the Zeldas. Did you? I did, like, 1, 2, Super Nintendo, Ocarina of Time. Oh my god. The new Beast Awakening. This looks like it's if they you know Breath of the Wild 2 is gonna have to be on both. It's gonna have to be. The, the, the enhanced version? Yeah. Yeah. Like they did with uh Is this your favorite game? Of the show? Oh uh, no, like the Breath of the Wild 1, is that your favorite game too? Or what's no. your favorite game? No. It's the thing for me is like I was lucky it's enough to Sega get... Sega Bass Fishing. You can say Sega, it. Sega Bass Fishing. The Techno Kid Adventures up there. And Chicken Shoot. Uh, my <laughs> top <laughs> games. Where's that sequel to Chicken Shoot? <laughs> with the Switch. That would be great. 2022. We got a year. Or I think that's months. that's pretty much the underline of when the next Switch is coming. Is that going to be holiday of 2022, so, what did you think? Could be. Or is it going to be This early? time around, the, the setting for the Zelda adventure came out has been expanded to include the skies it's above be Hyrule. Oh, We'd that's like why they wanted to, to do Skyward Sword. Do you see that? We're aiming for the a 2022 release, so I hope you'll look forward to it. Okay. So it's it's maybe a, a, a sequel to Skyward Sword a little bit. How too. was that? No, it's gonna be a sequel. That, that was Breath awesome. Of the Wild. Nintendo Direct. Can't be the sequel. We are diligently continuing development on a number of other games we didn't show today. I hope you'll continue looking forward to what's in store on Nintendo Switch. So they they're gonna have another no, big thank Direct. Thank you for watching. No Super Switch. 
No Super Switch. But you don't need one because you gave me Metroid. We got Metroid Dread, yes. You got a couple of Advance Wars games in there. No Metroid Prime Trilogy. Nothing on Metroid Prime 4 yet. Um, That's fine. Let's switch you up to... uh, So they're going to be playing Metroid Prime Dread on the Nintendo stream right now. Hi, everyone. I'm Doug Bowser from Nintendo of America. Let's just see if there's any... And I'm here with Nate uh, Bildorf, who leads our Treehouse team. Oh, Nate. Nate's awesome. As you know... At Nintendo, we're all about creating experiences many, many times that over deliver the surprises and smiles. And I have to say, I found I myself it. smiling I mean, I wasn't through that entire Switch, presentation. But I wanted to see some Metroid. That's really we'll the one thing that I needed yeah. to see. In the weeks and Hello, Jordan sweet, Cunningham. Nate, that you got a sweet Metroid was shirt on. Incredible. So many questions. Where do we start? Not the shirt. What did you think? Oh, well, Doug, they had me at the first Great mysterious shirt. red tendril. You know what a massive Doug Bowser fan. looks like Bruce Willis, and I can't um, get over but it. That's 2022. Yeah. Uh, and, mm. and Is that I'm Bruce Willis? Really? Is Bruce Willis running Nintendo? Just over the next couple <laughs> I'm months, pretty I'm sure Nintendo that's Switch. Bruce Willis, guys. Mario Party Superstars, WarioWare, Get It Together. The expansion for Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity. That was a good collection of games. Sword 100%. HD, Mario wasn't Golf Super it wasn't uh, Advance Wars One head Plus exploding? Reboot oh my God! Shocker surprise! Except just Metroid not Dread. Getting any work done? Um, you should know that. But that was That's a good okay. collection. I think for I sure. Maybe There's a lot of fun game. stuff coming to the Switch. God, and what Mario an amazing Golf platform Super Rush the Switch is! In just a few weeks, on June the 25th. By the way, Nate. Do you know why Luigi brings two pairs of pants to the golf course with him? Look at Bruce Willis. Oh, so confident. Talk about Nintendo. We are. <laughs> in case he gets a hole in one. <laughs> it's been a long day, oh, Hans. Boy. This okay. game is just packed it's with It's been content. a long day, Hans. He sure does look like mode. Bruce Willis. Then there's also <laughs> speed golf, battle golf, the golf adventure mode, and the option to play Yippee with buttons or motion Nintendo. controls. And you can play with up to four people locally. So, so what are we doing? Online. We're gonna we're gonna watch these guys play this Mario Golf now. Going to be taking up the majority Probably. of my summer gaming time. Oh yeah, you, know, you and me both. Um, and there's plenty more to come. Um, and as for today, our E3 show is just getting started. Um, next up, we, have, of course, have Nintendo Treehouse Live, and we'll be kicking off our first segment with a very Yoshi special guest, play. Yoshio Sakamoto, who is the producer of Metroid Dread. And he's going to be sharing his insights on, oh. I can't believe I'm saying this, but the first 2D, new 2D Metroid no game in yeah. some decades. Uh, I'm not going to miss it, and I know you've been looking forward to it as well. Absolutely, I'm so looking forward to it. I want to this. watch that. And we do have our Treehouse <laughs> team on hey, Metroid. for a gameplay deep <laughs> dive into Metroid. I, I, I mean, I want to watch it, but Wario I also Wario don't want to watch it, you know what I mean? I don't want to get spoiled on any of this stuff. Live and I pre-recorded wanna... segments today. And I'd just like to say as I we close, experience I'm it. deeply grateful we I'm are going to, to experience everyone it. watching In 114 days. With us, yeah. And we hope you enjoy it. We yeah. should just put, add a again, counter to, can't wait to, to the EP yeah. vids that go up. I'll turn Count it down to Dread. Yeah. <laughs> I like that idea. Here it is. There's see the Dread trailer again. I'm, I'm into this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So we're going to have Axiom Verge 2 and Metroid Prime or Metroid Dread this year. Yeah. I think Axiom Verge 2 is going to be this year. It might not make it until next year. So who's making this? They didn't answer that before, did they? Here's the development history. We started back in 1997. (laughs) This is great. His name is Yoshio? God, what is Nintendo doing? How do they find Bowser? <laughs> Yoshio? <laughs> what? <laughs> See, look at all these games you're showing. Would be a great like, first in 19 was, years. Was this, was this uh, person on the first Metroid? I don't know. But he's producing this. Is he the inventor of Metroid? <laughs> was he there? 35 years ago when we first got it. The guy looks 45 years old. He was 10 years old. Is that a girl thing you just listen to? Metroid。シリーズファンにはひと区切りっていうのやろう。闘争像しながらアップレイしていただきたいですね。うん。ストーリーは重要ですけど、やっぱりまたね、なんかこのセンシティブ。うん。ストーリーは重要ですけど、や
You want it to be the guy behind the camera asking the big questions. Oh yeah, for sure. I did. <laughs> we did a, uh, a Metroid Prime uh, retrospective or a Metroid retrospective when uh, uh, Return of Samus or Samus Returns came out, um, and it was great. We got some great uh, interviews from different people around the industry. It's on the channel. You should check it out if you're a fan of 2D Metroid games. The word dread is self-explanatory. It's a great movie starring Sylvester Stallone, Carl <laughs> Urban, and Doug Brown, and, and Doug Bruce Willis Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Cunningham says to work at Nintendo you must change your name to be more Nintendo related <laughs> it will be a history lesson later they killed all the Metroids and Super Metroid and then there were, was a clone this is, this is my uh, I'm going to replay all of the 2D Metroid games over the summer in prep for this are you going to do that? yep you got 114 days I, I'm going to do it this, this game is incredible Extremely talented, technically they're very, they also have great taste, so I think they probably did this new one. Yeah. Mercury Steam is an incredible developer. Out of I wish Spain. They would, I wish they would take all their handheld Del uh, Metro games and put them and on do that, right? Yeah, yeah. Take that, just so you can get the whole experience. Yes. Yeah. I'm sure that's coming, brother. I'm sure it is. It's the chronological order for Metroid, that's the way to play it. It's really interesting. It's actually a robot in Ginga Renpo Show. I haven't played the Galactic Federation in the game at next level. I don't know if it's going to be. Call yourself a fan. Call yourself a fan. I don't think Nintendo will ever send a review copy of that game. Wow. Sometimes you gotta buy some games, right? Yeah, I know. I just, I, I just bought some gems last night, Vic, just for you. Did you? What'd you buy? Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Oh, very nice. You got it. You gonna stream those? Uh, yeah, because you said you never played them, so I'm like, I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> I got Loom, I got the Dig, I got Last Crusade. Oh, right on. There's a nice LucasArts pack in Oh man, look at that new Zelda with that fog rolling off his thing. It's, it's incredible that. I mean, this, this machine is so underpowered compared to what's available on other platforms now. But it's still kicking ass, you know? Like, these games are still incredibly exciting, and they're visually beautiful. It just goes to show it's not just about raw horsepower, right? It's the way you use it. It's so true. I mean, look at the, uh, look at the super master version of Link's Awakening. That game was amazing! Yeah. And all I could think of was, like, I want all the top-down Zelda games to have this treatment. The, uh, or I would take a brand new one. The, the 3DS game? No, the, the original DS one that they put on the Switch. The oh, right, yes, yes, yes. So good, man. That game was great. Yeah. Oh, the original um, Game Boy game that they put on yeah. the Switch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was amazing. You're right. So good. It was like little toys. Yeah. Yeah, I loved playing that again. Oh my god, that was beautiful. I, I honestly, I, I, I feel like the Switch is my favorite platform because of all of these decisions that Nintendo's been making. A lot of the retro stuff, the remakes. Breath of the Wild is my favorite game. I've just been so happy with this machine. I just feel like for me, like I, I was going back to Breath of the Wild, like I had, I had finished it right when it came out. Yeah. And then they added a bunch of extra stuff and I was like, well, I finished it. I, just, I didn't feel the yearning to have to go back and get other stuff. I said, oh, I already beat it. That's a game I'd like to like start over. If, if time didn't keep moving forward so quickly. <laughs> I could just pause time. So I, we were chatting. Did they announce this? Did they announce that it's Mercury Steam? Are for sure that these Mercury Sam I am one one. I'm sorry, I, didn't, I wasn't paying attention there. Are they the developers of the game? Because kudos to them if they are. We could also drop a new Castlevania. We would take that too. Yeah, they did the they did a couple of great Castlevania games too. Oh, 
Okay. Awkward social distancing happening. <laughs> Six feet. Thanks, Sakamoto-san. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Nintendo Treehouse Live. I am super excited Metroid? about this next yeah. segment where we're going to delve into an early work-in-progress version of Metroid Dread, uh, show some of Samus's new moves in action, and also, I think, get to a little bit of the uh, way the game develops this uh, suspense and tension that right on, uh, Carl West gets 49. the game its title. So I'm joined by oh, man, Audrey and sure. Teresa from Nintendo Treehouse. Happy. And Teresa's Happy. Looks like Strider. It does look a little Strider-like, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. So let's uh, take a also shadow dive complexity. into okay. uh, the very beginning um, of the game. I'm going to bounce out, um, bounce so us out of this because I, I, I want to see Samus's it, but I don't want to see it. You know what I'm saying? I don't, we don't need that. Okay. So I'm going to um, bounce over to here. The old I love you, but I'm not in love with you. I understand. A few missiles, so I'm going to use this interactive here to replenish. Um, but one of the things I want to show here is uh, free aim, which for those that have played, uh, boom, we'll talk a little bit about the uh, Nintendo event, my friend. Um, yeah, how about, how about so I'm what do you Metroid. think? <laughs> Metroid. Metroid Dread. Metroid, Metroid Dread. Dread. Right. It's just so good, man. I mean, like, again, it's another one of those things where some of the games are like, all right, this is fan service, fan service, Advance Wars 1 and 2 coming back. That's cool. Yep. Um, and then, uh, you know, you got starting off with, uh, Kazuya coming to smash. It's great for this, the smash community, more characters to play with. Yep. Uh, Metroid dread. They showed breath of the wild too, which I mean, we're not really, it's, we expected it cause we'd heard about it. Yeah. We got uh, some Met actual Metroid gameplay dread. though. We're out of the little cave. We get to see more than, you know, we got Looks to see, yeah. uh, some of the new physics and stuff in the game. And that looked incredible. Um, I've got the list here, so let's let's go uh, okay. down down the list. Okay, um, uh, Worms Rumble, Worms Venerable Franchise, yep. never disappearing. Uh, about as hard to kill as worms are in real life. Um, we uh, yeah, we're gonna get Tekken in uh, Smash, which is mm -hmm. a, a crazy, fantastic new addition. People still hungering for Master Chief in the franchise, but I feel like. Uh, uh, they're they're going through all of the Japanese properties for they're gonna get them all, yeah. <laughs> all every every game that Fatal Fury is gonna be next. <laughs> yeah, they're Arr, gonna get them into the, and then they're gonna conquer North America and they're gonna get all of the uh, North American developed stuff. We'll see Nathan Drake and Smash before this is all over. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Two Point Campus. Um, the Two Point series is terrific. I loved Hospital. I'm looking forward to Campus. The Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. Banana Mania is running wild, brother. Yeah. It's a great brand, great name. Banana Mania is just fun to say. I mean, that's that's like you're halfway in the door already if you say Banana Mania. It's like I want I want to play a game called Banana Mania. I don't know what it is, but I want to play that. Uh, Mario Party Superstars, where they're reimagining classic uh, Mario Party mini games. Um, I I like those games, but they're they're they don't stick with me. You know, they're not the things that yeah. I go and talk about afterwards. You know, uh, but different eras is cool. Uh, then they dropped the uh, the bomb of the show, like the big re reveal of uh, just, Metroid Dread. Just like a little. Yeah. Here. Here's the Metroid. And then we're going to move on to. Uh, oh, then Capcom they went. Cup. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, they did Capcom not go Cup. to the Capcom Cup. We did enough on that. Uh, we did uh, Cruise and Blast. And uh, our buddy Blair Farrell mentioned that Roth Thrills is in the um, uh, credits for the game, which is fantastic. Um, we saw Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, Kakarot, which has already come out. It's, it's, I think I have it in, on Steam already. It's, is it just an expansion? Yeah, did, I think so. Did Kakarot come out on the Switch already? Or is, sure. this the, is this the Switch? I'm not release? sure if, or if it's just a chunk of DLC. It's been out, but yeah. it's on the Switch. Uh, Mario Golf Super Rush, we know all about that. It's coming. Monster Hunter Stories 2, getting to know that very intimately at this point now. I think it's been... <laughs> <laughs> several Every uh, conferences conference um ever. and WarioWare get it together i think was another big drop yeah we got some real sort of insight into that game and it's very familiar but awesome and a good mm -hmm. fit on the switch some two-player co-op i hope we get to do a two-player uh nose picking mini game those are always fun my kid will get a laugh out of that don't do it don't don't do it uh shin megami tensei 5 and you're telling me this is coming out in june and somebody mm -hmm. else is telling me that it's all connected to Persona. I'm going to believe both of you. I don't know. But I know a lot of very, very excited people out there for Shin Megami Tensei Five. It did look really fun. Uh, Dagen Rampa. Dagen Rampa. No, no comment on that. 
<laughs> don't know anything about that franchise. Really? They get five games. <laughs> <There's> no, <laughs> you get a lot of games in that thing. A lot of Dongon Rampas. Uh, Fatal Frame, Maiden of Blackwater, look kind of creepy Fatal and Frame. cool. Also dated, you know, like we, we just came off Resident Evil Village, so it's pretty hard for people to, I think, be overwhelmed by the visual aesthetics of uh, Fatal Frame, but Fatal it does Frame. look cool. Same with Dur Doom Eternal Ancient Gods, which is impressive that it's running on, on Switch hardware, but it's also like, yeah, well, we've seen how that game's supposed to look. Uh, Tony Hawk on Switch. Uh, I, I think that's a game where even if you're going to take the resolution hit, you're still going to be playing. You're going to have a blast. Yeah, some of the best action sports experiences ever made, right? Those two games. Yeah. Did you yeah. stream those? Did you did you stream uh, Tony Hawk's 1 plus 2? No, I, didn't, I, haven't, I haven't played it. You haven't played it? No. Oh my God, brother! I just That's... said I was I was playing the Tony Hawk first one HD on my 360. Oh, dude! Because I was like, still good, <laughs> still good. Oh man, you need to pick that up. You have your P you have a PS5, right? Yeah. It's so stunning on the PlayStation 5. You totally got to get that. That's that, worth the, the full price. The thing that right sucks there. is because uh, when you stream on Twitch, you can't stream in 4K, so everything's in 1080p. Right. Like even even playing Ratchet, like I played through the entire Ratchet and playing Grift Apart, in but in like 1080p, but very high quality 1080p. Yeah. And then I, like, after I turned the stream off, I turned it on like that. So, I was like, like, look at that's this game. how it looks. Yeah, this game looks incredible. Why can't I, I stream this way? Yeah, you should see the, the like. I, this is one of the uh, the old editing monitors that I stream off of, and then my 4Ks of my my OLEDs right over there. Yeah, I, I find that every day when I'm streaming. But that's the way we're. I, I, like, imagine the internet and the horsepower we would need. I mean, I think that's coming. I was expecting that I would be making the upgrades to the equipment to be able to stream in 4K this year, but I don't think so. I think it's going to be 2022 or 2023, but that's yeah. coming for sure. Um, then we saw Strange Brigade, and we were yapping, so I don't know anything about that game. Yeah, missed um, it. Because Metroid. Because Metroid, yeah. I think I'm sure we were talking about Metroid. Um, we saw Advance Wars, and I I don't know what the uh, subtitle is on Advance Wars, but I'm... I think it was just one and two. It's one and two remade. I think so. Oh man, that's great with yeah. the new visual style. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it's like the year of tactics games. You know, like yeah. there's a lot of strategy those, those, stuff. Those t when when was the last time you were you know you had an array of tactic games to play? I love it. Those fans out there are like, come on, give me something. Well, Metal Slug Tactics and Advance Wars on the Switch can't think of a better fit. You know, yeah. like that's a platform where you can get a little bit on the screen, on a TV screen, and then you can walk away with it and dig deeper into it. Cannot wait. Very, very cool. It's great to see Advance Wars is back. Finally. Um, uh, then we saw the there's new DLC coming to Hyrule Warriors. I haven't played that game since I reviewed it, but I You haven't played that game? I've played it, reviewed I mean, it, loved I mean, it. I want to go back. Sam I am one 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 wants a new wave race. Ditto. I want that. They just as well. did that. There's that one game. Oh, it's not wave race though. But that one game from Weezer. I'm oh, not from yeah, Weezer. Wave breakers. I wave haven't. Uh, I haven't got it. What's the word? I don't know. Don't know. I okay. Don't know. I, and the Weezer's in it. That's a, that was the first time I heard about it at the game yeah, awards. I know. And it was just like summer game fest. It looks. It looked like uh, parody. I. It's like. Is that a real <laughs> game? Are you joking about games? Or what are you saying? Wave there? Okay. break. <laughs> Um, okay, and then we went to, uh, uh, I think, oh, we did S Skyward Sword. We got uh, mm -hmm. another look at Skyward Sword HD, which looks like a ton of fun. And um, I did love that game and finished it and raved about it. Uh, I think it's an excellent Zelda game. As you would. But, the, well, game. come on. I, 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 I love good it games. It just took so long. I think I, it was the, it was the, the that waggle, man. The Wii? That was yeah. The yeah, and I was just like, it looked so. I don't know. There's just, I don't know if it was the TV I was playing it on, but I was like, this game looks so bad. No, it looked great. It, looked it was bad. the TV. It was a good looking. It was weekend. the TV. It's gonna look a lot better in this. In this it's gonna look remastered. much better on the Switch, and I, I think they're giving you options on control, so you don't have to be waggling all over the place. So, and that's what they were talking about. You can play it in handheld mode, and it's gonna be great. Um, it is a cool game, though. I remember those last dungeons. I remember there was some frustration and some retries, but the the story was mm -hmm. cool. And now what uh, Aonuma-san was kind of teasing is that they're, we're going into the skies with Breath of the Wild. So I think the reason why they're putting such an emphasis on Skyward Sword is they want to kind of connect some stuff with Breath 2, I think. 
I might be totally wrong, like I was wrong. about the uh, Zelda game separate, and watch separate date. universe. Separate universe is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, comic book guy. Uh, but Zelda game and watch coming out November twelfth, and holy crap, does that look fantastic! Right, the fact that they included the Game Boy game, which is the yeah. Switch game that we just played, uh, the remake of. Uh, that's great. I'm mm-hmm. very, very excited about that, and I, I feel like. I, the, the only thing I didn't like about the Game & Watch Mario is that it, I don't think it comes with a stand. I think it just... Uh, did you get one of those? How did... No. Hold on. I have it. I'm, I'm just going to go check one sec. Go get your toys, Vic. I'm going to tell Nintendo to fix that. Go get your toys. Vic's going to get his toys, guys. I'm just going to hang out and say how. He's going to give this about a 9. Okay? Uh, I'm probably going to go 8. 8.5. Upset they didn't have it's it. A little dusty. Oh, he's back. He's back. Everybody be cool. Lie. Everybody be cool. I haven't been playing it. A lot of games come out, guys. Um, mm-hmm. But I do have it, and I do like it. Let me just take this. it out of the box. Are you gonna take it no, out? No, no. It was. You know what I do is I plug it into the front part of my. Um, I don't even know if it's got juice because I haven't turned it on in a while. Oh yeah, there it is. Of course, it's a Nintendo product. It's, it's such good. a cute little thing, man. There's the clock. The clock is wrong, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can play the front screen. You can jump on. It's so cool, but it doesn't have a stand, and that's what they have to fix with the Zelda thing. It needs to have a stand so you can put it on. A Triforce right. stand? Yeah, it needs to have, so you can use it as a desk clock, you know? You can just stick it right there, but this is, uh, these are amazing, and uh, you know, I, you, they're out everywhere. I don't think they sold especially well. I think they, they anticipated the demand would be higher than the supply. I saw at a uh, local store, a local drug store that's not too far away from, from me, but um, uh, yeah, it's cool. And now I want the green one. And what would the the, the inevitable Metroid one look like? What color? Mm. Red and green. Well, this is this is Maybe red. Some yellow. This is red. Yellow. A little yellow in there. A uh, yellow. Yeah. Yellow green. Let's make red. that happen, Nintendo, and let's put some stands on these babies, okay? But a, a nice collection of these. All with different uh, clock faces, with all the alarms going off at the same time. It's a lot safe consuming than buying these one-up arcade cabinets. (laughs) (laughs) It's seven arcade cabinets in the back. It's it. Trust me, if I had the space, I would have many of those arcade one-up cabinets. Those things are incredible. I just have. Um, All right, and then uh, Breath of the Wild two, which I think everybody could have anticipated, ended up being the uh, the last. Um, experience that was showed off and uh, that was incredibly impressive an inevitability mm-hmm. about that though you know we yeah. know what it's going to kind been of a couple of years like. so yeah thankful thankful to see they're still working on it yes are you getting the i see jordan cunningham is getting the uh, zelda game and watch uh metroid fusion colors would be nice too yeah 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 i th- yeah. I, I, I definitely covet something like that I feel that Nintendo, though, once again, um, uh, they had lots of good things to be excited about in this mm-hmm. Direct, but I feel like they have many more things in the works. Yeah. And they, they're I mean, have no another Bayonetta Direct. 3? No more Heroes 3? Yeah. No, the 3s. They're working on the 2s. Yep. Metroid Prime 4. I mean, it's time to show us something. Five. Metroid Prime 4. Oh, that would have been... Ah, right, Metro Prime Four. It's time to show us something, fact, and it's stuff. time to release the trilogy on the Switch. That thing has been remo- rumored forever. So that's what yeah. they do: is they have a Metroid Direct. I'm sure they're going to show. They're going to show. Uh, when is it? Dread. Give me a, give me a date. I guess this is what they're doing right now. It's kind of like a Metroid. They're Dread so Direct. showing Dread still. Yeah. yeah, so good. I think we've, <laughs> I think we finished it. I think I've got, I. That, that, I'm trying to focus on you talking, but in the corner of my eye. <laughs> <laughs> that's I'm my still playing Metroid Dread. <laughs> and, you know, and for those that are maybe questioning why so many of us uh, in the chat and you and I are so freaking stoked for Dread, it's not about what it looks like because at this point there are a billion copies of Metroid out there because Nintendo has just left this gap for developers that love Metroid, Super Metroid especially to go and, hey, we should make a Metroid type of game. And I, like there's a million of them out there, you know? A Metroid and Castlevania games. So it's not really like it looks like it's earth shatteringly cool, but we all know that the the mood and the vibe and the puzzles and the rewards of these Metroid 2D games, they just stick in your heart. They just the, you just love them. It's like complete like when I played uh, uh, Samus Returns on the three. I didn't want to think about anything else in my life except <laughs> Samus Returns. Sorry, family. 
I have my 3DS. I'm going to go play Metroid, you know? I mean, it was so freaking captivating. So I can't wait to say goodbye to everything else in my life for Metroid Dread. <laughs> oh, man. Batten down the hatches, lock the doors. <laughs> yes, very good. I've never actually played a Metroid game before. Yes, that's the thing, Hubert Barton. I think that's the deal is that... Um, well, actually, I want to ask the chat. Do you have Switch Online? Do you, you have a Switch? I don't think you're probably watching this if you don't have a Switch. Uh, but do you have the Switch Online um, account? And if you do, uh, you, you need to play Metroid on the NES and you need to play Super Metroid especially, which I think is still... Yeah. I, I think Super Metroid is still the best one. Yeah. Out of all the Metroid games, Prime was, or 2D. That, that came out at a good time, too, when I, when I like when Nintendo Power was publishing like speed runs and how fast they could do it. And I was like, I could do this. Yeah. I'm going to speed run. Now I don't have any of the speed skill I had back then, but it was one of those things where I'm like, I love this game so much. I'm going to keep playing it until I finish it at a specific time. Yes. Well, it's Hubert so Barton it. says he's got the Switch and Switch Online. Play Super Metroid. I know that's kind of going out of order. Because they, they did they did Metroid and they did Metroid Two on the Game Boy, which was Return of Samus on the Game Boy, and it's the 3DS game Samus Returns. It was reworked by Mercury Steam. Um, but I so I would do this: play Super Metroid, and if that doesn't hook you, you're gonna want to. I think it will. And after and that, you want to dig into away. just throw the just switch throw your away. switch away into the ocean. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> run, run up to a ten year old kid and say, "This is yours." Yeah, here's no. you. There's only one game on it, and it's Super Metroid. Enjoy. <laughs> no, play, play uh, Super Metroid, um, and if that does hook you, uh, then dig into the catalog. But I, I wouldn't at this point recommend racing to go out and get a 3DS to play um, Samus Returns, even though that is an amazing experience. You might, you might have a 3DS, and in which case, go ahead and download it. Um, and that might be the order. You might want to go Super Metroid, Samus Returns, then dig into the classic uh, NES Metroid, and then play the two GBA Metroid games, which are also phenomenal. Uh, but I think Super Metroid is is that sweet spot. If you love that, you're going to love Metroid games. Um, you can get a SNES wireless controller from Nintendo for like 40 bucks, right? And it feels like playing it on a Super Nintendo. I have I have a couple of those. It, it's incredible. I Honestly, it's like there's... <laughs> The world we live in now, because this wasn't always the case, right, Foobs? We didn't always have the access to these classic collections with really well-made modern controllers that worked wirelessly um, yeah. or, you know, have subscriptions to... Con like, what are there, 100 games on Nintendo Online now? They're, I think so. Yeah, and they're emulated, so they're not perfect, but they're still very playable. And yeah. it's incredible. Like, you could seriously... That's so much value for... What, what do you pay 25 bucks a year or something like that for something Nintendo? like that yeah yeah it's insane I mean, the fact that you, it's weird because like i've never played an online game because you need your phone still yeah to yes. talk to other people yeah which is a weird workaround totally um but the 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 having the classic like nes and super nes stuff is just it's pretty sweet you yeah. can also create uh japanese and european email accounts and then you can get access to those uh stores as well which is crazy, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, we've never really lived in an era like this where there is like a real attention to the value of those classic experiences. This I wish there was a, more. Wish there was more, and I that's the, that that's the things. truth. But the other side of it is that it all they they all take time. I mean, when you're playing Super Metroid, it's still you know you're in it for a good ten to twenty hours, depending on how meticulous you want to be. Yeah. Um, and you know the business doesn't slow down. There's always new engagement out there, but. Uh, that's seminal work, the the classic Metroid stuff. So that's why I'm excited as hell for Metroid Dread. I'm also super happy that Mercury Steam is the uh, the team. It's good to see them thriving. You know, I think you, you played the Lords of Shadow stuff that they worked on, the Castlevania games. Castlevania, yeah. Yeah, they just killed it, man. And they they did this robot um, uh, mystery open world. Uh, I forget the name of it. Where you you you, have, you were like a, a detective robot and trying to solve detective murders, uh, with flying vehicles like um, uh, uh, Fifth Element kind of thing. Yeah, I know. I don't it's, know it's what you're talking about, but I like what I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. Let me let me uh, let me look them up here because that was hit up pretty... the old Goog machine. One second here. 
What is Victor uh, talking about, guys? Uh, Mercury Steam. Mercury on Steam is now available for 99 cents. I got it as one uh, game makers, game developers. I don't know. Oh. Ah. Sorry. I'm just I'm at least excited that Nintendo woke us up early for Yeah, they did. That was good. If you're going to have me up at 9 o'clock on an E3 day, but I'm not even at E3, but still talking about E3, you better show me some damn Metroid. So they made um, Scrapland was the name of it, which was in 2004. It was a weird game, uh, but it was cool. It was incredibly ambitious back in the day. It was like a sci-fi Grand Theft Auto with robot detectives. Um, nobody's heard of it. <laughs> I don't see anybody mentioning that in the chat. So nobody played that sucker. I remember being very impressed by them then. And so to see them grow and grow and, uh, and collect more opportunities like that is awesome. Shadow Complex, never played it, Dude. but always wanted to. You never played Shadow Complex? No, I did. I'm reading, oh. uh, sorry, Pathetic Earthlings. Oh, uh, I was about convention. to flip. I was going to say, are you kidding me? <laughs> Sam, I am 111. I knew I could count Brilliant. on you, my friend. Has heard of Scrapland, and it was an American McGee game. Uh, there you go. Uh, okay, so let's score this sucker, and then you and I are going to return for a little uh, Bandai Namco, which is mm -hmm. probably going to be like all Elden Ring, but that's all good. Um, mm -hmm. What are you? Uh, what uh, What are you going to give the Nintendo? I'm going to go eight point five, Vic. I was going to go eight. Yeah, but I'm Met feeling eight point five in my heart. Metroid Dread, the Metroid Zelda, Dread and Zelda and Game and Watch, Blef. and Breath, Breath Two. Of the was there any? And WarioWare. I'm eight point five. WarioWare well. still. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's enough. Yeah, totally. I mean, there's and there's other good games in that assortment as well. So two eight point fives on Nintendo's. Uh, clearly, the the uh, the comp the the stream to beat at E three. I was going to go eight point one. Actually, but, uh, the summer game fest stream, the kickoff was pretty exciting. I think. I mean, but that's like Keeley throwing out just body blow after body blow and heavy punch and heavy punch yeah and it was not it wasn't um platform specific right yeah. it wasn't a publisher's collection it was all of them that is the it, game of show yeah these are the games of the show yeah uh 11.5 from wario <laughs> Wario, 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 Wario. So eleven point five. Uh, Arian <laughs> Dehistani says six point five. Uh, need more Bayonetta three. Absolutely, mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Platinum needs to start making uh, their own video pressers, and they just need to show like the collection of games they've made and say, "Look at how freaking awesome we are." They can do that. Then just do this. Yeah. Just like stare just down. Like, just like just the developers yeah. and couches not saying anything. Just like. Yo, roll it. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Solid eight from Hubert Barton. We're going to get you playing Metroid, my friend. Uh, Hip Hop Dan, WarioWare, faux show from Hip Hop Dan. No score, though, from Hip Hop. Uh, what else we got? Um, uh, Shadow Complex is amazing. Okay, we're talking about Shadow Complex. It is. I love I love that we talk about every era of gaming on our stream. I think it's awesome. Was hoping for, uh, speaking of which, was hoping for an F-Zero game from Mad Chrono. And Kratos 70 says an N64 Greatest Hits remastered. I think that's an inevitability. I think we're going to get an N64 collection on Switch Online. I also think we're going to get Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, which would be great. Yeah. Um Six, still don't feel the need to get a Switch from Bruce McLavy. Thank you for your honesty. You are going to love your Switch when you get one. Uh, <laughs> Super uh, Switch! Uh, Jordan Cunningham uh, says 8.5. Microsoft gets an 8. Uh, 7 from Anoop mm -hmm. Tour. That's what I said. Um, and I think with uh, Wario's 11.5 and uh, Arion's 6.5, I think it balances out as a collective 8.5. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Nailed Settled. It. Sorted, as the uh, Brits say. Uh, Michael Santiago coming in with the uh, uh, yeah at the tail end with a two out of ten. Woo! I love me some two D Metroid, but I was so bored watching this and Breath of the Wild with no gameplay. Yeah, that we st we're gonna have a separate thing on Breath too for sure. It'll and have its be own more direct. of a celebration. Um, the the thing about th this direct is that it leaves us wanting more, but they did show us quite a bit. Yeah. Right and and this Treehouse Live stuff that's going on. Another something for everyone. 
Yeah, and they've been playing Metroid. Now they're playing Mario Party. Yeah. Advance Wars was in there too. Yeah, this was Fatal great. Fatal Frame. 7.5 from uh, uh, Final Tide. I, I'm sticking with my 8.5. Fatal Frame. Yeah, that was great. All right, um, we're going to break, and we'll come back a little bit later. What time is the the uh, Bandai? 114 days. Okay, 114 when... days. We'll be back um, every day <laughs> I until Metroid me when Dread was coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's at 2? Two? Uh, 225. 225. Okay, so we'll be back around 2 o'clock today. Uh, yeah. We might do a little bit of a recap of um, uh, like E3 in general because uh, – that's going to be pretty much it for our live stream coverage of E3 stuff. So we'll be back at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard. Don't know what time that is where you are, uh, but we will see you soon. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your super chats and your uh, um, uh, memberships. Thank you, you guys. We will see you soon. Until then, play forever.